So you say the flag's been flying at half mast. Arr, matey. Is today talk like Blackbeard Day or something? I, it's really not a good look on you. Really? Because I think I could pull it off. Anywho, these young girls are killing me. If you want to claim the island, you, you have to plant the pole and hoist the flag up high. So can you help me? You know, I've been married to the same woman for 30 years. What's it like being with young girls? Oh. Have you ever had cannoli? The, the tasty Italian treat? Of course. So you give these girls one cannoli and they love it. Well, who wouldn't? The crispy, crunchy shell. The delicious cream on the inside. Exactly. But you just can't stop it. One. Then they want another cannoli and then another. Because they're so good. Right. But the problem is that my factory can only bake one cannoli every eight hours. Any sooner than that, and my shells are uh, soft. So you see my dilemma? I do see. In that case, I'm going to prescribe something for you that'll crank out more cannoli than a short old Italian lady making noodles for this Sunday dinner. Uh, what about my flagpole? Can it hold up the crow's nest, or am I doomed to have it lurking in the bilge? I assure you, one little pill, and your Jolly Roger will be flapping from the tippy top of the mass pole. I'll call the pharmacy before you leave, and it'll be ready by the time you get there. I have to admit, I'm a bit embarrassed by all this. I don't want anyone to know. Plenty of men your age have this problem. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Yeah, but it's like owning the home run record in baseball, but everyone knows you took human growth hormones. Sure, you have the record, but it has an asterisk beside it. Yeah. So you're worried that you'll put in a great game, but you won't make it into her record book. These girls talk, Doc. Dead men tell no tales. You can't have a, a peg leg or a hooked hand. If you don't shiver her timbers, there's no access to Davy Jones's locker. No fire in the hole and the hatches are batting down and the ship sails out of the harbor without you. Arr, matey. Anthony Rotelli? Rotelli? <laughs> well, like the pasta. <laughs> yes, like the pasta. Uh, is that the pasta shaped like uh, the tubes? Uh, no. I could swear they were. This is gonna drive me crazy. <gasps> Are they those little dot shapes that people put in soup? This is insane. No, they're not tubes or, or dots or strings. They're, they're shaped like springs. Can we please move this along? I have somewhere to be. Sheesh, you don't have to be a feta meanie. Jesus, is that Tanya? God damn it. Date of birth? Uh, did I tell her my real age? God, you already know the answer to that, Joe Susan. Get... I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry, I still can't hear you. Maybe it's the microphone. You should probably come in here and then we can fill it for you. Uh, January 13th, 1969. Sir, you know this is not covered by your insurance provider? Yes, I, I know. I'll, I'll pay out of pocket. Oh, my God. Do you have any idea how expensive this is? I, don't... I might have a coupon for you. I'll check. I, I don't care. This is over $500. What medication is worth over $500? I mean, and it's 10 bills. 10. Oh. These drug companies should be shot. This is legal robbery. You don't still want this. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. I just saw your address. <laughs> 102 Vine Street. Oh, God. I happen to live four blocks away from you. I guess that makes us neighbors. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you before. What's that medication do? <laughs> Listen, since we're neighbors, let me see if I can find a generic version of this for you. Oh. Uh, there is no generic version, you poor thing. Hey, just swipe the card, will ya? 
Reach it! Can you move it forward, please? I was just messing with yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on. Have a nice day. Yeah. Oh, condolences, you poor, poor man. Uh, why do you have a Victoria's Secret catalog? It's Elizabeth's. The ex-wife is staying over? Ooh. What's going on? Discuss. No, moron. It's Elizabeth's. Her junk mail still comes here. Why do women do this? It's false advertising. What is? Well, underline uplift, sexy push-up, multi-way push-up. <laughs> it's dishonest. No, what is it? Let me, let me see your phone. No. Let me see it. <laughs> Look at your <laughs> Tinder photo. <laughs> You totally photoshopped it. You have hair, Butch. What do women do when they finally meet all this? A small percentage stay. Yeah. Something about glass houses comes to mind about now? No. I mean, look at this bra. It says it increases two cup sizes. Two. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to be climbing Mount Everest. Next thing you know, I'm looking at the pitcher mount at Yankee Stadium. So how's that different than what you're doing? It's different. You know, Butch, you should buy one. You turn those man boobs of yours into 38 double Ds. <laughs> <laughs> Just think what they'll do to Don's chesticles. You could take a floppy, hairy, hot air balloon ride in either of those puppies. Oh, yeah, Marty? Well, your family obviously bred down the bloodline far enough that you could just sit in one. I mean, you'd just float down the river in one cup and use the other one for protection if it rains. He would look like he was on a teacup ride at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, this is false advertising. It's like ordering the main course at a really expensive restaurant. And when it shows up, it's like a sample platter of the appetizers. You know, you go mixing through the vegetables and then you go, oh, there's the meat. They are the party-sized potato chip bags of the world. You feel the bag in the store and it feels full. You think you're getting this big bag of chips, but then you open it up and the air hits you in the face. It's like you're riding in a convertible with the top down. You're dating this girl who by all appearances seems well endowed. And she lets you get the second base. You feel the beautiful, soft fabric of the outer surface. And then you go down another layer and find nothing but an air pocket. Yet you still probe deeper until you strike water. But even finding the well doesn't stop your curiosity, so you keep digging. Finally, you reach the epicenter. And it's filled with enough wire and fabric to fill a city junkyard. You're exhausted. It's like you put on a helmet and goggles and just frack your way through the layers of the Earth's crust to find the breast. And what do you find? Not the juicy, free-range, organic chicken breast you were expecting. Oh no. You get a dried up fast food chicken nugget. No meat, all batter. This catalog isn't doing it for me. And, and I used to get aroused by the Sears catalogs. Oh, sure, I get that. I mean, what did it for you, Butch? The Shapely Craftsman series or the statuesque Kenmore appliances? <laughs> Seriously, Butch, what are you talking about? Well, Sears, they used to put out this thick catalog. You know, it had a bra and panty section in it. <laughs> uh, my parents thought I had some kind of stomach issues because I was always in the bathroom. Uh, I'm telling you, those pictures used to really get me worked up. Huh, well, at least something made you want to work at one point. <laughs> Wait, maybe something's wrong with me. I, I, I'm looking at these pictures and I got nothing. You guys ever have problems with, you know? No. 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 What's up, losers? Oh my god, did somebody call the meeting of the heavy aftershave gang? Ugh! Boys, a little dab will do ya. Queen, I'm not so nice as arrived. I just finished reading How to Win Friends and Influence People, or are you just out terrorizing the world in general? No, I'm here for my alimony check. Upstairs on the kitchen counter. Oh 
I'm gonna need some. How long will she stay? Help me deal with it, medicine. Cheers, boys. Let's go play some poker. Oh my god! <laughs> Trouble in paradise? Are we short and are these days, T-Bone? That's not a good look on you, and I don't know what you're talking about. Gentlemen of the jury, I give you Exhibit A. Now, to your untrained eyes, that may appear to be just ordinary medicine. Maybe it's an antibiotic. Maybe it's for his acid reflux. Maybe it's for his arthritis. Oh no, I assure you it's for none of those things. There is a part of this man that is broken, yet has no bone. A part that I am certain used to be a source of great pride. A part of this man which, as portrayed, could rise to the challenge. All right, enough. Wait, is this a riddle? I like riddles. <laughs> uh, what's a part of the body that can be broken but has no bone? Oh, I, I know. It's his heart. His kidney? No. Let, yeah, let, it's probably his liver. Let me give you a hint. Let's just say that under the helmet, Darth Vader has a frowny face. His clothesline is drooping. The elevator won't go up anymore. The, the stud can't support the building. The Italian stallion's going to the glue factory because he can't satisfy the mares anymore. You boys getting this now? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, the incredible heat-seeking moisture missiles. Internal guidance system has gone down. This is mission control. Abort the launch. Repeat, abort the launch. So if your equipment was a tentpole, the canvas would be more like a blanket than a roof. <laughs> you don't know what it's like. All that pressure, it's like running with the bulls out there. You have to be conditioned for peak performance. You get gored in your testicles by a horn. You know, men reach their pinnacle at 18, while women have to fake it till they hit 35. What sick, twisted God created this world? We have the cars, the money, the bank accounts, but our highly decorated soldier now stands at attention like an old Nam vet using a walker. I'm wilting. I'm wilting. Even with this catalog of scantily clad women in it. I'm wilting. Like a sagging flower without water or sun to make it stand tall and soak in the sunshine. It's the fourth quarter. We're down by a field goal. And I'm the center. And I get down, and I hike the ball, but suddenly I can't rise up to block my guy and he just barrels through the line and they block the kick. We lose. We lose the game. How did you know? My dad takes them. Drives my mother crazy. There she was, basking in the heat of the narrow desert, and the next thing you know, she owns stock in whatever company sells Luberderm. You poor thing. Really? You wanna do that? <laughs> God, no, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I just want to see if that medication was working for you. I see my work here is done. See you, losers. Oh, don't look so deflated. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. At least one part of the equipment still functions well.
Take two, they're small. What could it hurt? I could use the help. Really? <sighs> we need to talk. Thanks for coming over tonight. You made me so mad I couldn't sleep. You lied to me, Tony. You said you were 38. I heard your date of birth when I was in the pharmacy and you came through the drive of Findo. Well, it's not a lie if you believe it's true. So you believe you are 38. That makes it not a lie. Well, that's the basic principle. Well, then I believe that there was a magic spell cast on me that makes my legs stay permanently closed. Well, there's a cure for that. It's called lots of alcohol. So, were you filling a prescription that makes time run backwards? Actually, it's sort of exactly that. Oh, really? Is the sewage treatment plant called? They want their crap back. No, I'm serious. Remember when I stayed over and you were how you... Unsatisfied? I was gonna say... Disappointed. No, you were... Unfulfilled. I get the point. Now, here's mine. This prescription can change me from a weeping willow tree into a mighty oak. Like Clark Kent walking into a phone booth and turning into Superman. What about endurance? Does it give you endurance? I can win the Boston Marathon. What about frequency? Frequency is very important. Uh, the last time we woke up together, you wanted to cuddle. As frequent as an old man who gets up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. No cuddling. <laughs> You better not be lying. All I want is one shot. Oh, there better be multiple shots. Oh, okay. <sighs> 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 oh, you're, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. I'm actually not quite sure yet. Hi! Oh, hello! <laughs> no, no, not symbolism! Not, not symbolism at all! Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest. I'm just so thankful to have somebody to go out with me. I mean, it's been a bit of a dating trap for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. It's like Moses parted the sea and led all the gays held by the pharaohs out of this town. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't know, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, <laughs> not much to tell. Um, I'm an architect, uh, only child. My parents are divorced. Uh, my dad came in and out of our lives as my mom forgave him for one of his many affairs. Uh, born and raised here, and obviously I never left. You? Ex-college football player. I worked for my friend's tech company for a while. He sold it two years ago. I've just been helping my parents manage their grocery store. Yeah, I'm quite the catch. <laughs> uh, only child, like me? No, there were actually 13 of us, but it was as if, as soon as the diploma hit each of my siblings' hands, they stepped into the Star Trek transporter and hit Energize, and Scotty beamed them to anywhere but here. <laughs> wow, 13 kids. Really? 
Yeah, my mom and dad have been together for 50 years, and wow. I mean, she was always pregnant. My mom's like an old school Irish Catholic type, okay. <laughs> so when she's not praying, she's giving birth. You know, on your knees, on your back, <laughs> on your knees, on your back. My dad said by the time they were done having kids that having sex with her was like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. <laughs> The way he tells it, I strolled out of the birth canal, you know, carved my name in the wall next to the others. Don was here. <laughs> oh, that was uh, visual. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I see that you're sporting a porn stash. What's up with that? Do you, do you drive a side panel van? Do you hang out at schoolyards? No, my, my father's Turkish and he valued hair over prayer. Okay. To take us trick-or-treating one year, all he did was take off his shirt, and the people in the neighborhood were convinced he was dressed as King Kong. <laughs> you know, my dad said it was mandatory that every capable male grow a mustache once he turned 18. The Israelis joined the military, but we, we grow lip hair for our country's honor. Seriously? No. What's wrong? Sorry, my... Stomach feels like the inside of a washing machine on spin cycle. You're looking a little flushed. You okay? No, would you excuse me for a minute? Of course. <laughs> Someone swipe right. Someone swipe right. I've got a date tonight. Someone swipe right. <clears throat> Right. Marlena's just finishing up with another client. Should be about 10 minutes. Marlena. Now that's a sexy name. I bet she's smoking. Wonder how long it takes for these pills to kick in. Well, I got about three hours until my date. I should be good. Mr. Johnston. You can come back now. Oh. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. So sorry. How long has the food been here? Long enough for platform shoes to come back in fashion. <laughs> I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a stomach bug. I think I'm good now. Oh, oh no. Deja vu. Would you... Excuse me. So, what kind of massage would you like? Well, what are my options? Deep tissue, Swedish, Thai, Shiatsu, and hot stone. Uh, is hot stone what it sounds like? Yes, I put hot stones on your body. I don't know why people would do that. I mean, to me, it's like you're standing at the bottom of a mountain and <laughs> a landslide just buries you. I'm like a hand sticking out of the rubble going, Help me! Help me! <laughs> so, what do you want? Uh, something... Relaxing. Swedish it is. Just don't touch my feet. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very sensitive. I, I have issues with my feet. I won't touch your feet. And my calves. Yeah, they, don't, don't rub my calves. They, I don't know why. They're, they're just, it's always painful whenever they get massaged. <laughs> Mr. Johnston, we only have an hour. Are you going to talk the entire time? Yeah, maybe you should take a class in customer service. Might help you to be a little more tolerant of people. Haven't you ever heard that the customer's always right? Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, I'll be quiet. I'll, I'll be quiet. Please stop. Mm. How do you like my customer service now? I didn't think these bills would kick in so quickly. It's like pulling a ripcord on an inflatable raft. Oh, oh I just had to wear my lucky silk underwear. They keep rubbing against me when I walk. Damn, silk against skin just feels so good though. Okay, just stand there in front of everyone and don't move. And maybe it will deflate. If there's a god, he would put a hot girl in this class. 
Please be a hot girl. Please be a hot girl. I don't want to waste this missile on my wife. Oh, Jerry. Oh, I'm so sorry. The food is just running through me like the kids coming out of my mom's vajayjay. How appetizing. <laughs> Maybe we should try this another time. No, no, I think I think I'm good now. No, no, I'm not. Whoa, what's happening? My face is so hot. My right eye, it, it's itchy. And everything is blurry. Oh, her calluses are so hard they could sand a chunk of naughty pine. Oh no, it's moving. How can someone that repulses me make it move? Maybe it's the table rubbing against it. Oh, I have to stop flesh and cotton from touching. Maybe I suddenly got superpowers. Dogs can smell thousands more scents than humans. Am I like an animal? D did I mutate l like in that movie, The Fly? Mm. Oh, my senses are on overload. I can feel every single fiber strand of cotton touching my flesh. I can feel you tensing up. Oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. <clears throat> Mr. Johnston, please lie flat on the <clears throat> table. Hello? Elizabeth? It's Don. I know who it is, Don. Your name comes up in my phone. I have a problem. Where are you? I'm in a restaurant. Let me guess. The waiter is suing you over back injury because he doesn't have a dolly and he had to hand carry that mountain of food you ordered. You really gotta stop eating so much, Don. Oh, very funny. Is that an echo? Oh God, how about a courtesy flush, fella? It smells like a death camp in here. Are you calling me from the bathroom like one of those Middle Eastern guys who talks to their girlfriends in the stall at the airport? I have an emergency. I have diarrhea, and it won't stop. Don, that is the very definition of diarrhea. I'm scared, okay? I took a couple of Tony's pills. My, you know what? It's at full attention. It's hovering up here like a UFO. You were a nurse. Can you help? I'm sorry. I, I just have this image of you sitting there with your pea shooter aimed straight up at the ceiling, shooting an arc of yellow rain over the top of the stall. <laughs> and I wasn't a nurse. I was a medical transcriptionist. I documented the diarrhea, I didn't cure it. Did he give you those pills? No, me, Butch, and Marty. We took him when he wasn't looking. I took mine a couple hours ago. My face is flushed, my nose is stuffed, I'm dizzy. My butt feels like the end of a fire hose. Okay, Don, listen, it's late. All the stores are closed, I would just tell you to call a pharmacist. You have got to go to the hospital. You've got some really serious symptoms. You may be dehydrated. Go to a hospital? But I'm on a date! Get out! With who? It doesn't matter. He saw me take three extended state trips to the Hotel Hershey. The thought of having sex with me would be like playing football in a grass field during a downpour. Unless he's the wide receiver type, which means I'd be good. I don't get it. But the field's a little muddy, Elizabeth. The field's a little muddy. That's just gross, Don. Look, I would tell you good luck, but it sounds like you and Luck are in the middle of a bitter divorce. Hello, my name is Marty, and I'm filling in for Mr. Fry who couldn't make it to this evening's class. He wanted me to cover computer security and password protection. So, 
Why don't I start by asking what you already know about safely protecting your password? Uh, do you have anything to say? Uh, yeah. Uh, is this class going to be hard? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not at all. It's going to be very easy. Well, looks like he brought his own uh, hard drive to store his yeah, passwords yeah, in. Yeah. Well, well uh, no. I, I think it's just a memory stick. What? Maybe you should take the helmet off that illegal alien you're trying to smuggle. Yeah, is he here on H-1B visa? <laughs> Aliens, H-1B visa. If uh, you're looking for the uh, wood shop, it's right down the hall. Hey, Marty, didn't your mom teach you it's rude to point? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, everyone. Suddenly I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> Cole, Elizabeth, Ratelli. Hello. Elizabeth! I did a bad thing. Every day you wake up is a very bad thing for the world in general. No, this is serious. I can't see. I, I think I'm losing my vision and my, my chest is tight and I think I'm having a stroke. Which, why are you calling me and not the doctor? Because you said you knew about those pills that Tony took. That, that, that You said your father took them and... Elizabeth? You could hang a wet pair of blue jeans out to dry on my clothesline right now. Lord, give me strength. Not you too. What do you mean? Butch, you need to go to the hospital. I can't see my Uber app to call. I, I used my voice recognition to call you. Could, you. could you please just come and get me? And... and... Don't tell Tony. Where are you? I'm on the uh, massage parlor on 45th Street. Well, it appears there'll be no happy ending for you today, Butch. Don, I have traveled many a road. I can't drive on one that's covered by a mudslide. I had to take the detour. <sighs> Funky cold Medina. Elizabeth. It's Marty. I know. You took Tony's pills. How do you know? Women's intuition. What's wrong with you? It won't go down. What won't go down? You know. It. What is it? The joystick. The thermometer. The willy. The one-eyed weasel. The Schwarzstuker. I, I get it. I get it. I just want to see what you call yours. You boys and your silly naming conventions. How long has it been this way? Almost four hours. Ooh. Too bad you disgust me. What? Marty, you need to go to the hospital with the others. There were others? Yes. In fact, I'm about to go pick up Butch. You know, among your peer group, moronic behavior seems to be organized. Do you guys discuss this in a chat group or something? These can stop the sound of 12 gauge buckshot, but not the Swiss. Well, well, well. If it 
isn't the Pirates of the Caribbean. I can see all you've been cursed for looting and plundering me booty. I can see the barnacles have stuck to your tongues and made you speechless. Not a good look on you. I think I'd pull it off. So, Elizabeth called me and told me what you did. Do you know how expensive those pills are? Do you know my insurance doesn't cover the cost? Idiots! All of you! Hey, where were you? What, Tanya? Ah, oh, still going strong? Nah, it's over. What happened this time? She yodels. If I dated her, I'd have to wear those green shorts with the high socks and suspenders, and I, I just don't... Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. But before I forget, you're out of wine. <laughs> Is that golf on TV? God, I hate golf. It's like a bunch of senile old people dressed up in costume to play Game of Thrones, the Whispering episode. I have to change it. Excuse me, can I have the remote to change the channel? I'll send someone out. Thanks. I know you from somewhere. I don't think so. <laughs> have you been here recently? No. That voice, I know it. We have never met. <laughs> here you go, sir. Try not to sit on it this time. No. <laughs> 